Alrighty, so we're back with Satisfactory, and today's episode, we're diving into Tier 3 and we're going to learn about coal. Pretty excited for this. Every time I've gone through Satisfactory on different playthroughs, coal has been one of the ever-changing facets for this game on how to keep your factory self sustained. So there's a lot that goes with it. Originally it just used to be coal going into the machine and that would power it. But with some of the recent updates, water is now a source that we can use. So, let's dive in. I also tinkered with the autosave feature, so that shouldn't be going off as often. Should be like every 30 minutes. So I figure if I stream again for an hour, then they'll only go off twice. Won't be as much stutter. But yeah. As soon as this loads up, we will get started. Alright. So. We need to manufacture coal. A little bit of a frame rate drop there, but it's okay, it should smooth out shortly. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Probably have to repaint this, but it's fine. Production. We have everything we need for this. So let me go ahead and place this. Put it right about here. Go there. And then incur. It's too long of a piece. Okay, that's fine. We can remedy that real quick. Thankfully, we still have all of our reinforced iron plating being made, so we can go ahead and just take some from up here. And grab it and use it. We have a climbing animation now, which is nice. I don't remember if they originally had that or not, but I want to say they did. So now we'll go ahead and make rotors from this. This is Mark II, right? Yeah, Mark II. Okay. So we need to hook this up to power. There we go. It'll take a little bit for this to go, but we're actually pl pretty close to our mark. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to grab some more iron plating. Because in the long run, we can actually get this going in a few minutes, with all the resources we already have collected. We should also double check these, 153, 153, 65, 169, okay. Good. So we're still good on power for now. Okay, let's go ahead and make some stuff by hand. We'll make these first, because we only need... Well, now we only need like 35 more, so... I am trying to talk a bit louder in the videos, so it will... It won't sound as if the uh, music or game audios yeah, overbearing. So, trying to figure here and there where to 
improve. We had one killer storm last night, though. Could have sworn the power was gonna go out, but... Nah. It's weird. We've been having a lot of weird weather lately. But... I remember a few weeks back, we actually had snow up here. <laughs> and to think, it was like in freaking April. It's crazy. We're almost there, and there we go. Now we need rotors. Which I'm gonna let the machine mass produce some rotors. I'll build these ones by hand. There we go. And now we need cables, so we're gonna need a lot more copper wire. be just enough to make the cable needed. Yep. So we'll go ahead and make a make stack. We'll make 400 in total. Four stacks of 100. And then we'll go ahead and get this funded so we can dive right into the coal. say today today's weather's been really good like it's perfect perfect temperature out at least here Pennsylvania's always had some kind of good and bad weather depending on the seasons but you get what you get so you can really work with all right, we got enough for coal power, and now we just need the extra cable. Because what comes next is gonna take a lot of resources. If I can find another copper dude, I may set up another thing for it. But let's get as much as possible. And we'll be set. There we go, all right. Done deal. The advent of coal. Milestone reached. Coal is an improved alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Note, ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note, pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Note, throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. So, in turn with all of this, we now need to configure one machine. I'm going to use this one. Grab that. We'll go ahead and make copper sheeting from this. It'll take a while to do what we need for this, but it will be worth it. Okay. I don't know how we already have a fluid buffer, but I'm sure. Okay. So, copper sheeting. This is used for copper pipes and for the height, for the fluid. So. Eventually, fluid buffers will be used for oil when we get to that. You can use water for other purposes, like an alternate blueprint for concrete. You can use limestone and water to make a lot more. But you need certain machines for that. We have a water extractor. Um, we also have, now have the coal generator, which gives 75 power. Yeah, I was just trying to think if that number had changed at all, and it hasn't, so that's good. But, we're going to need a few things for this. We are going to need at least three of these. And because coal can't really be changed into anything else currently, all we need is that. We are going to need water extractors. 
And coal generators will also be a necessity. Just in case. So, our whole checklist. We're gonna need a lot of things. Portable miners are easy to make early off. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we have the three that we need. We need the copper sheeting, reinforced plate, rotors, cables. Yeah, that's all we need now. I am gonna go ahead and try to refuel these while we wait. I think it only took five biomass burners. Every other time I've done this, I've always had to set up a bigger grid. It's weird. Fueled. I can put the spare back in here. Well, I'm gonna take that, split this. There we go. At least a hundred. Be good to carry. Now for copper sheeting, that can be a bit of a challenge on how to get it. We already do have the machine set for this, but we can also offset this I just noticed a, a little dial with one in our hot bar and I don't remember seeing that before if I'm gonna be honest trucks be going by very loud and fast today but again it's usually the weekdays here So two ingots make one copper sheeting. So with all the ingot that we can produce here, we may be able to make all the copper sheet that we need. And by then we should have enough rotors and hopefully reinforced iron. If not, I will have to make that by hand. Because I want to build up our resources. If we get more power shards too, we can actually start upgrading our machines a bit. Oh, that's interesting. Now I'm noticing that too. I didn't see that before. Hold left mouse for the craft and add to do list for the right click. Which is kind of awesome. We only need 46 ingots, I think. Yeah, 46 to get our 60 mark. But we also need to factor in the amount for the copper pipe. So, we're going to have an abundance of copper sheeting. We'll do about 100. And I know we're not going to get 100 from this stack, but we'll be able to at least contribute from the building pool that we already got set up for one of the machines. Rotors and reinforced iron plate. That will be the next thing. Okay. I had to just find Mike a little bit. Let's see. Okay, we got the copper sheeting. So we're gonna grab some more from here if there's any. So there should be at least some. Yep, perfect. Okay, let's go check on the rotor production. And then we'll check on the reinforced iron. Reinforced iron is going to take a bit to manufacture. But, on the same token, it'll be worth. Let's go check on the reinforced iron and see if we can grab any from there. They'll cut down on having to do things by hand a little bit. 
I could run conveyor belts all the way down and just put storage containers all around, but having this kind of setup doesn't really impede me. Perfect. Almost a half stack. So we'll go down here. We'll head up the craft bench. And pick the reinforced iron plate. Need to make more screws while we're at it. Oh, I was, okay. I was just making sure there's everything there. It didn't look like it. Thirty short. Make that. 27 short. And now I'll be 26. Let's make some screws. So we'll make enough screws to where we can have all the reinforced iron plate. And it may come up short a little bit because we don't have a lot of iron plate left over. But we'll see what we can do. If anything, we'll just make the rotors. If need be. be 26. Uh, yep, it's gonna hit that threshold mark, so let's just grab some extra iron plating. So we do have an abundance of it a little bit. Put that five back. Yeah, we'll grab one more just in case. And anything left over, we'll just put back. Oop, let me make more screws first. There we go. So we need 26. It'll take us a little bit to get there. Alright, here we go. 26 reinforced iron. I like that they give you a little track track list on the side so you can figure out what resources you need, how much you need. It's always a nice thing to have. I will say, I keep coming back to this game every time. I don't really get tired of it. There we go. Okay, now we just need rotors. I don't think... We can't make any. But, we definitely check and see how the machine's doing. Because then, we can actually see if... Well, how many... Okay, that's not a lot. Alright, we'll have to make these by hand. Go ahead and make some screws, and then we'll see that number for the rotor start to go up. Ooh, we are going to need a lot of rotors. Oh my god. Whew. For how many rods it takes to make screws, that's... that's something. We'll make at least a good amount. It also makes me wonder with the steam release on the June 8th, if they're gonna have steam achievements with this. I've always kind of wondered, because there's different advancements you can do in this game, and it's... I don't know. It's something to think about. I haven't really kept up with the... all the patch notes, or 
news releases and whatnot for this game. You think I would though? <laughs> but most of the time, I'm either just doing my own thing or just trying to get into this. You know, beats sitting around doing nothing. Okay, I can make one more. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we'll make these. And we'll and by this time the machine may have made ten, hopefully. So we'll have enough rotors. <laughs> Hoping, <laughs> because once we get the coal up, it'll be self-automated for power for a little while. So you can just pile coal right into the coal generator. Eventually, we can get hypertube access. I forget if that's with the awesome sink or if that's just one of the researches you can actually get, a, get an acquisition for. I've only made four. The, machine, the assemblers are slow. I keep forgetting they are slow at first. Eventually, they get better. I just need to make six. So let's see what happens if we can make six burgers. If not, then I have no idea what I'm gonna do exactly. I should be able to. Fingers crossed. Oh, close. Perfect. Here we go. Yeah. All right, got everything we need. Let's make sure that we have the generators all good. Good deal. Grab any concrete that we need. I like to take a lot of concrete with me at times. Let's also grab the copper sheeting. That's perfect. All right, we have a good amount of everything. And just to be safe, we'll go ahead and use conveyor belt mark one for this. Now, let's go find some coal. Should get a ping momentarily. Oh, there we go. 600 meters out that way, 700 that way. There's some 1100 out that way. We'll go for the po through the poison for this. Or at least around it. But yeah. Now hopefully this source has a lot of... Uh, <laughs> at least a few nodes. If it's only one, then that may be problematic. But it just means we can travel out and try to find another. Summer sloop up top there. Here we go. This is the one I was afraid of. Okay. Oh, that's not good. I need. Nope. Where's Zap, you buddy? Okay. Fat ass. There we go. And you too. You fluffy tailed hawks. My god. Okay, so thing with this is that we need to set up enough concrete. I am also realizing that this place may not be the best. Let's just double check because we need water for this to work. And if this doesn't work, then we need to relocate. There's also a slug over there. I'm seeing off in the distance. Hopefully, there is water here. If not, it's going to make this more difficult. It would 
help if we have the Xenoblade, but... Okay, we have coal. Do we have water, though? That's my biggest fear. If we don't have water... part about using the spot is that you need you need power to go out to the drill for one I should have also calculated in the biomass burner just in case but we need to know if there's water if there is no water then we cannot use the spot oh god these berries though. There's this other fluffy tail hog I'm hearing. Oh, there he is. Stuck on a rock. There he is. Okay. Any sign of water? At all? No. Okay. Hard about hard part about the plains. Sometimes water is scarce. Oddly enough, though, the desert has water. <laughs> like, a lot of it. It's weird. It was either the plains, the forest, the Arctic region, or... the desert. And... right now... Yeah, there is no water at all near here. As far as I can tell. There's a slug though. We'll go ahead and grab that. Oh, you're an elder. I do not want to fuck around with you. Come here. And you quick. Ow. Oh my sweet lord. Oh. 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 Speedy. Ha. Come at me now, boy. Poke your ass. Come here. You know... Bastard. You ain't doing me in like this. I will eat these berries. Kick your ass to the curb. That's what'll happen. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can't beat a tree. Yeah. Give me this carapace. Hoy. Okay. Xeno Zephyr is not the best thing to go up against them. But their weakness is a tree. Oh no. No, no. Oh, okay. That's fine. These guys I can move. Where'd he go? Oh. Get some berries. So, no, okay. So I don't get too close to them. They won't proc. Praise the stingray god. Where were you when I needed you? <laughs> you could have protected me. You have forsaken me. You forsaken me again, I will not praise you. I will take that risk. So we shall head out for the coal. And if I am heading the right way, then this should take us to a water spot that will have coal. Hopefully. I really hope. Because if there's no spots with water, then... Well, there's water over there. Because you can see the waterfall, so... That's good. Later on with nuclear, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Copper node. 
Might as well break it. Some extra copper. Can't hurt. Okay. Then we pop. Some berries. Some work. Does he ever fix the lizard dog up? No, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Hey, hey. Get your butt back here. Hi. Hi. I'll pet you. Is it not? No, they didn't fix the lizard doggo. Makes me sad. Very nice. Okay. We're heading this way. Perfect. Water. Oh, sweet water. Yep, perfect. So that's where we need to go. Get these guys first. Do that. And then, where'd the other one go? Maybe he fell. Nope, he did not fall. Where is he? There he is. Charge at me first, so I'm ending it. He rolls. He rolls and he rolls and he rolls. Oh. Glorious. Uh okay, there was something about this place. I think. I'm pretty sure I remember something dangerous about this place. I don't know why though. If this is what I think it is, it could be problematic. Because then we need to find another source. If not, then we're good. What is that? Is that... I think we're in the clear, actually. Yeah, we're in the clear. Okay, good. Whew. So, the reason I was so worried is because I didn't know if this was the spot that had uranium. And without the proper protection, you would almost immediately die if you got anywhere close to it. That's why I was a bit nervous about it. Sense. Okay, where's that one? There should be a source right here, right? Yeah, 163 meters. So what we'll do... Go through here. That's a big bulbous plant I've never seen before. It's a doggo. Hello. Okay. Coal should be right about... Oh, no, this is a... You gotta be kidding me. Ah, jeez. Okay, so another thing with the game that can sometimes happen. Um, sometimes there's the possibility of finding coal, but also not finding it. It's weird how it happens, but... It's a glitch, mainly. The coal should be around here. It's just a matter of looking for it. So if we can find it, then we can set a drill on a marker. Um, it's going to take some searching, though, for it. So if I try to ping it, it's just going to ping the one spot. That's more caterium. I do want to pick that up. This is... Wait. That's coal. We found it. It's guarded, though. Give them organs. You can double tap. How dare you. There you go. Okay. We have coal, which is good. This is what we need. 
So let's go ahead and place a drill if we can. Yep, we can place a drill. Perfect. Put it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna mark this spot by grabbing this. Pull sites A. You can also change the color of it, so let's make it pure black. That way we know what it is. Just back to nuts. 57 nuts. Top ourselves off with a couple berries. Okay. So, now that we know where the coal is, we can go back to the water and actually start rigging this up. Oh, a lot of trucks. I remember when oil diggers were actually coming up here trying to... Trying to buy out people's land just so they could get digging rights. Let's limestone. For a limestone node, it has a lot. Oh my god. Okay. So. We're gonna go up here, and we need a suitable spot for water. So. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the water extractor over on this side. So it seems to work better. The reason we need a water extractor is for a coal engine. So for right now, we'll just have it sit like that. It would be easier if I had a lot more concrete, which at some point I can do. Um, so used to my old key bindings. So we have pipeline, pipeline junction cross, pipeline pump. Pipelines carry fluid, pipeline cross is if you need to split it, and the pump helps boost it. So we need to regulate this. That's our seven. Let's just bring it right up to here. And then we'll put it right in. There we go. So we do need power for this. And then our coal site, we can actually go ahead and start cutting down these trees a bit. Um, it's going to be a bit harder because of everything we have. We'll ditch the five nuts. The 32 on this. And the one on this. Let's freeze up four slots so we can clear a path. Immediately it will get full. Basically just want to cut a path straight to the coal. There we go. It's a bit harder, depending on where you start. It, you have to realize what you got. So let's get rid of this, get rid of this. Of this, rid of this. I think, if I remember right, they may have changed how the mushrooms look, but from this type of tree, we can actually get mycelium, which is something we need. Normally, I don't dispose of a lot of stuff, but we don't have a lot of pocket space. Yep, there it is, Mycelia. We need that. So we'll get rid of this, and get rid of this. Keep the Mycelia. Clear out a decent chunk so we're not oversaturated. Get more Mycelia from this. Good deal. We'll pick up the rest of these. Okay. Get rid of this, this, and this. Okay, so now we need to run this. 
What we can do... This is something I normally do when it comes to... To, uh... Decoration? Let's this up real quick. It's not gonna be perfectly... Straight. With how I do this. Because early on, it's... It's harder to do. But, I can definitely try and make it work. So, let's go ahead and put a... Encroaching on that clearance. I wonder if I did this. Would it work? It will work. It'll dig down into it and get rid of this, actually. There you go. So we can either leave it or do that, but when we have it powered up, then it'll make more sense. And then what I can do from here is actually start building out a pathway. Again, this is purely aesthetic. You don't have to do this, but it helps keep things grid gridlocked. We'll go ahead and put a ramp up here. Just so we can have it come out. Because of how it's proportioned. Actually, not proportioned, but how it's positioned. It will be harder to do that. So let's do this. What if this? Oh yeah, this will work better actually. Maybe? No, no it will not. It's because of how it is, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't sit perfectly. Regardless of how you have it. That's fine. We'll just put it back to how we had it. We'll just put it to that. We'll make it work. Let's see. We can at least straighten it out here. There we go. It'll look better this way. And you can only go so far with it. And depending on how many resources you have as well. Also, the key variable. Alright, I can't do the one thing I want to do unless I have the purple thing. Which is fine. Uh, so you have this down. Now, something I will do for this is logistics. Kind of thing, but actually, I will go ahead and tear this down a bit. Because when I bring the concrete over, it's going to be a bit different. So I'll have it set up. I'll cut the street out from the facility. this. We're going to bring this over. There we go. So now all we need is this, really. Oh, we can leave that one, I suppose. It's not going to hurt much. It's just a matter of being able to proportionately do this. Let's 
See if I can just place it right here. I think I can. Yeah, I can do it as long as the floor is steady enough. So go ahead and bring you up here. Pipeline is too long. So we need to accentuate this. actually. Let's do it. Perfect. Because then we can bring it straight down this way. Let's put one there. Put one here. For right now, this is the bare starting of a factory. So let's see. I could probably put a Mark One here. Feeds into that. Just to make sure. Yep, it's fully connected. Okay. So now we need that. Can put another. Come to think of it. Slate bend. Nope. Perfect. So then I'll go up here. I'll go in. So sorry if uh, I tend to deconstruct reconstruct a lot. It's mainly just the fact of I like having things precise. I'm weird like that. Theoretically, we could have it just bend up a little bit. Encouraging this clearance, that's fine. Okay. Can we do a foundation? No. Okay. So that's fine. We'll do the, do the one bracket then. Just like, mark one. Got with this, you have to kind of place it and then so go back one. You have to place it and then that and then reconfigure this to that. There we go. It's weird how it works, but. Get rid of that. 
Uh, no, I like that. Like this. Just try to line it up as best as possible. This is what we can do. So we actually put one up here. And just put a conveyor mark one. Right up. Now, I don't know if they fixed it to where you could have that little gap, but it's always good to ensure that you do have a gap. You do have the, uh, the gap seal. I learned that with uh, one of the wor worlds I did in this, and it saved me a lot of trouble. Because I was able to figure out, oh, this wasn't fully connected. There we go. So now, with everything said and done, we need a biomass burner. So we go back over this way. Do we have copper? Okay, so we don't have a lot of concrete, it's a problem. The best thing I've found is that you can take these little things out and the not only do you get your concrete back, but the conveyor belts actually stay up and running. So it's kind of a good way to just be placeholder. Same one down here, we can get rid of this one. And same with over at the other area. Well, in the real world, they do provide stability. Here, it's game. So they don't have to really worry a whole lot. And go down here. Perfect. Okay, so I'm now going to go up here and I'm going to place a pole here. Should be able to register that, maybe? Might be too long. Wire is too long. Okay, so we'll just put this at one point or another. Is too long. Stretch too bad out here. That'll work. This way we can get power going. And then bring this up here. And we can run this down here. Forward. I do not have enough copper. Good thing I found that copper earlier, because now we can actually make the copper wire that we need for this. It's a good thing that we picked up that one node and we did not get rid of it. Sometimes it just helps to have that necessity. So let's get rid of this node wood. And 130. There we go. Let's make some wire. Make a lot of wire out of this. So the best part is that eventually I can actually run this back to the main base through a wire grid. And then we'll have that. Get rid of this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the biomass burner up here. Okay, you're gonna connect to this. And then we're gonna power it. This also needs to be here. 30. Drills are 20, 25, that'll work. 
and then a pipeline pump. It's only four, so that's good. That means we can power this as well. So let's go ahead and put this down here. And we'll go ahead and give this life. Right now, the water's going up. How's about 16, 17? It'll keep it pumping, so that's a good thing. As long as it can travel, we're good. And what I can do is actually start up a second one. If I'm able to, let's see. Yeah, I'm able to. We'll get rid of this one. This way I can walk over there. And we'll take that out. Split. Put that in. You're going to give more on this. We're going to hook you. Now this grid should have 60. Okay. So now we're going to build another pipeline pump. We have a shunt water here. Oh shit, this is. Ah. There's another curse word. <laughs> uh, they kind of just pop out of the woodwork sometimes. Pipeline pump. There we go. So now, with everything here, this should have perfect water. And we don't need to backlog it either. Which is nice. But if we can get perfect, we're getting the coal here. Now, I do have 60 plating. I could upgrade this. But I think for now it'll be good. We'll have a minor draw on that, which is fine. I'm not gonna do anything different until it's necessary. Okay, coal's making its way down. And at that rate, that's when I will start to four, one, two, three. We can have an extra line. Because what I want to do is have this self-automate itself. One, two, three, I could have that as one. And then put a pole. Yeah, how are we doing? We got 10, 11, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this now. Get rid of this, 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 this. Okay. How are you? Okay. And then we need to power that, so. Put the connection out. Two. Three, four. Self automation. We are now at 75. He uses coal, has water. We have a self automating machine. And we only need the one water. So, in theory, you can have more of these. Because even right now I could build I could build a second one of these. And all I would have to do is just split the coal, split the water. And then we'd have that. Come to think of it, I could do that. Crunch. Let's see. Might have enough limestone to do this. Maybe. 
Because I like to keep it propor proportional, so... Maybe hard at first to do, but I think it's doable. So if I'm gonna do this... I would do it on that side, probably. And then I would get rid of... I would need to get rid of one of these, it's not really being used. If I had more concrete, I'd put that in, but... Okay. Right. So can I put that here, I wonder? Yes, I can, actually. I can do it like that. And we could have even more power. The water is the only thing that we have to worry about. So, what I can do... is I can do this. For the time being, do that. I need to reconnect that. Let's put a pole here. So, for this, it's a bit harder in terms of, I think here, okay, so I would have to do it that way then, that's fine, we'll get rid of this, get rid of this, we will do logistics, we will do a pipeline cross, we will bring it down here. We will get rid of this, we will reconnect it here, and then reconnect here. There. Perfect. That works. Now, for this, I need to be able to use a lift, which is not doable. There's a way to do this. I just have to think. Ooh. I got it. I got it. I know how to do this. Splitter here. I'll bring back one. Invalid shape. That's fine. Can make it work. Anything? This is where it gets tricky now because we need to have this there. So go ahead and place a conveyor mark one next to this.
All oh, right. Boy. Oh, it's gotta be like. There, I think, yeah. If I put it back one more, it might work. Yeah. There, right there. Theory, I do this. There we go. Even in more theory, I could actually reconstruct this more. I know it's tearing up the infrastructure a bit, but I tend to think of ideas and then kind of go with it. Need one splitter here. So we can still have this. And so that. We can have this go straight in. Over. Hopefully it's got enough coal. Yeah, it's got enough coal blast for now. Okay. So that works. Water's out of good regulation. I don't really have to worry about the pumps needing more. Coal will be regulated between it. And then what I can do is actually have this on a whole grid. So now, we're at 150 power. Two coal engines. Only one source of water needed. And if we get any more, we can always build more water extractors. This is how to automate a coal power coal powered uh, power station so now the trick is getting it all back to the base because that way we don't have to worry about the things at the base ever running out of power okay that should be plenty to get back to the base because currently at the base I think it's only using it's using 150 as well. So we'll see what happens. Pick up the beacon. We should head out this way. Okay, so. Can't loop it to that. Cannot loop it to that. Loop it to that. Oh, bam. There we go. So, from here, we actually have a whole thing connected. Because now, if I look at it, our power is now 316. Meaning, we can now overclock machinery and get faster production. Let's head back down. What's this? Oh my god. <laughs> those are not what I think. Oh my god, they are. I left them there and I, I forgot about them this whole time. I am so sorry. Oh no. Oh no. Pick it up. Pick it up. Uh, we'll get rid of... We'll get rid of the rods. Okay, there we go. I can't believe I forgot about those. Oh. Where are the baby jewels? 
We do need to rig that area up, though. Which now we can, because we have a lot of power. And if anything, we can always go out there and make another coal gen. Truck stations will be the next thing. Probably. But... Uh, let's see. We will deposit the... couple stacks of this. Okay. Let's do this one. I'll go ahead and research the mycelia while we're back here. This is not the ma'am. Dare it. We need mycelia. Search. So now we can do fabric, and we can do that. So we'll do medicinal properties. Which now unlocks the inhaler, which we can research. So now we can craft inhalers, which if you use one, it actually replenishes all of your health. This needs biomass, so we can make some biomass real quick. Fabric is used for parachutes. Which right here, all you need is 10 fabric. And fabric you get out of here. So you just need biomass. Let's go ahead and do this. Not enough inventory space, we will get rid of the one beacon. This is 10 fabric, right? Yeah. And we'll get the parachute. So parachutes, when deployed, allow you to free fall, in a sense. They slow your fall, and you won't take as much damage when you hit the ground. Which is really nice. Works like the jump pads, without needing power. Let's see, what else do we have here? If anything, nutrients. We can actually do this one. We can search for bacon agaric now. And this requires. Okay, that requires that. Can't do that one. We have all that. Caterium. We cannot make Caterium ore just yet. So. Caterium in there. Wood. Okay, and we'll also put these in here too. Along with this. We'll craft up the power shard. We'll actually go ahead and power up some machines while we're here. So, in terms of what we need to power, Biomass being made into biofuel is perfectly fine as is. Rotors would be a good one. But, I am going to say we need screws. Screws would be great. You can also choose which percentage you want to have the machine overclocked at. It will tell you how many you can produce per minute with it. So now it will pump these out more frequently. Let's go over here. In this case, I'm going to say copper ingot for now. Will need to be upgraded. Seventy five per minute, which means a larger cluster. So now, the machine may be backed up a bit, but it'll help. And then we will put the last one in here. To do that. Oh yeah, look at that. Now what we can do is actually... We'll go ahead and do logistics. it shoots down faster. 
cannot afford because we don't have enough reinforced plate. Okay, we will fix that right now. We do not have iron plate, but we do have reinforced plate being made. So we'll just grab that real quick, we'll put that down there, and then we'll have that. Praise the Stingray God. Praise him. It is necessity. I'll just save in five, four, three, two, one. Grabbing a stack of 40. And now we can upgrade our conveyor belt over here to a Mark II. We are. So that should go faster somewhat. Hopefully. Go ahead and upgrade these as well. get overlogged a bit, but we'll procedurally walk through it. And now we'll have more copper sheeting and more copper wire. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we will get not just the frames any more rods. Actually I'm gonna save that for the next video. What we did here was pretty good today. We sought out the coal. We got it to power up an entire factory. Or at least a small factory. And we have a good power cap now. It's quite a handful today. So, I think we deserve two berries. And, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Let's me know you guys are enjoying the content. But, we'll be signing off now. This, is, this has been Phantom Echo, and I thank you for joining me today.